Yeah. Jump in, jump in, jump in, and boys up to something. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. This is Gallardo983 here. So if you already haven't, uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification button to get notified every time a new video comes out. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about how to invest your thousand dollars. Alright, that's typically an investment that people start out with. You might be going in with more, you might be going in with less, but this is a general video to get you started and looking for a long term investment, not short term, not a couple months. It's going to be long term for years or longer. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm going to be looking at ETFs, that's exchange trade funds. Uh, these are basically a bunch of funds that come under one name. Uh, like if you take a look at here, Vanguard is one of them. That's a big company and they have different uh, little ones that they have. So what they do is they invest in like big blue chip stocks and other other companies and other investments. So instead of buying individually like Apple or Google or Amazon, what you do is you just buy this and and if you go look at their prospect prospect this uh, delivery, it will show you a list of things that they're invested in. So instead of spending like well like hundreds of thousands buying each of the one of those stock, you buy this and it it's like an overall like average or coverage of of the stocks in the market. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you three today. One of them is VT, that's the Vanguard Total World Stock ETF. So they cover a huge variety of them. And the next one is going to be QLD. This is going to be a little more volatile one, but you want to have these in your profile, maybe like 20, 25%, uh, a little more if you're a younger investor like me. Uh, I would say maybe like 50, 50 split. Um, as you get older, you want to have less volatility and this is going to be the least volatile it's going to be steady growth as you see in the yearly graph right here uh, yearly to date graph it's a steady growth not too big of a drop and that's going to be a steady one right there alright so first let's go ahead and take a look at each one so this one is a total world stock ETF right here it's right now trading at seventy two dollars and twenty five cents per share so what you want to do is first of all go ahead and make an excel sheet uh, this is a portfolio layout if you go to file new from template uh, this is a portfolio analysis just double click on this if you search it right here double click on this and it'll come up like this and what you can do is go ahead and create your name investment type symbol price per share that's what you pay and if you have any trading fees I'm gonna be using Robinhood so that's zero dollars per trade but I'm gonna be leaving a little margin right here that's why it's not a thousand over here in case you're paying like five to ten dollars for each one just a little margin or you can go ahead and buy one more of uh, one of these and this is your total cost with no trading fees and its current quote is current price uh, this is what you paid for it this is what you be current quote so we're going to be entering different amount for looking at the future all right and this is your total market value your total account and once we enter the price we're going to see how much we're going to be gaining in a month versus a year versus 10 years and more all right so let's go back here so i'm going to keep this as simple as i can because you guys not not know me know too many terms so let's go ahead and look the first one here that's vt uh this is like steady growth with little volatility in it as it's a total world stock there's a lot of them that they invest in uh, this is really good as you can see the lows are higher than the previous lows so that's good I got many buy alerts here here that's the script that I set up uh, you guys are not going to be having that so I'm gonna exit out of that remove all studies so I'm just gonna be looking at the graph alright so as you can see it's been steadily growing going up and the next one or so let's go back you're gonna be buying five of those right there alright the next one is gonna be PWB and these ones you can buy more of these uh, bought six of those but if you since you don't have any trading fees you can buy seven 
but that's a little over a thousand, so that's why I just kept it below. Just in case, you know, by the time you buy this, the price goes up. And the next one is going to be ProShares Ultra, that's QLD. This one is 2x volatility, that means it's double volatility than a normal stock. Uh, it's a little more jumpy and more volatile, but it's going to be really good returns if you're a young investor and you have a lot of time, so you can wait on this and... As I said, as you're older, you want to go with less volatility like the other two. But this one, it's a good one, and there's a lot like this. Um, they do give really good return. So let's go ahead and look at the returns on this one. So this is the highest one I've seen so far um, out of my three right here. There's obviously better ones. There's worse ones, but this is a decent volatility one. So it grows about $2.57 per month. And how I find that out is you take this high over here and you take the low. So you just do 71.44 minus 39.8 divided by 12. And then that's 2.64. Uh, that's not going to be exactly like this because this graph ends at November. A um, little bit below and it's not taking into account that it's whole year uh, to date so you just want to be uh, downsize a little on that be a little conservative so you want to bring that down to maybe like two dollars twenty five cents just to give yourself that volatility you know when markets go up markets go down uh, you can every, maybe even bring that down to two dollars per month so on the yearly it grows uh, this should be 30.84 sorry about that so it grows $30.84 per share right there alright let's go ahead and look at the next one this grows $1.18 per month and totally goes $10.83 per share and PWB is a little it's odd uh, steady growth so it grows less per month and gives a re really good yield yearly so it's nine dollars eighteen cents per share per year. All right, so let's go ahead and plug all these numbers back in. So when we look at PWB, that was growing at 0.765 per month. So let's go ahead and since you're probably young or you know how old you are, I'm gonna be looking at the monthly first, and then I'll go on to the yearly and show you how it grows exponentially over over time. So if you add was it 30 or 76 cents to this one so you want to take the current price and add 70 cents to that one so that's going to be 40 one ten so that's in a month and then let's go ahead and look at VT you add that per month so it's a dollar 18 so let's go ahead and add like a dollar or so just to take account the uh, up and downs in the market so it's 72.5 so that's going to be 73.35 in a month and then this one was fast growing so it's two dollars fifty seven cents so let's put like two dollars twenty five because just because it's about fast growing that's going to be seventy three point six nine all right. So as you can see, in the monthly, you gain twenty dollars thirty nine cents. That's being conservative, taking into account up and downs in the markets. So that's two percent. So you're making two percent of what your initial investment is. So say you bought seven of these. Since you don't have any trading fees, that's going to be twenty one dollars. But just to be safe, go with six because I don't know what price is going to be when you're buying this. So you're making twenty bucks a month just for doing nothing you're just keeping it there you're not doing anything with it uh, you're just holding on to it and you can watch it like every couple days or once a week or so alright so that's monthly so when you go to yearly um, let's go back here so QLD that's 30 so let's round that down alright to be safe let's add 30 uh, 32 here so that's going to be 101 you see it's growing already 
let's go back to PWB yearly nine so let's run that down to nine um, let's add nine here so it's 49 41 and then let's go back to VT add run that down to 10 and the only reason I ran down is just to be safe, conservative. You don't want to have like high expectations, but you want to be realistic, much as you can. So as you see, in a yearly, your account grew to fifty dollars fifty-five cents, and it's twenty-six percent return. No bank or anything is going to give you twenty-six percent return from your initial investment in a year. That's insane growth. So that this is basically you're investing in a steady growth. Uh, two steady growths here. This is very conservative and this one's a little volatile, but it's going up It gives you really good yield in a yearly. So that's your initial thousand dollars or For a conservative so it's nine sixty dollars grew to twelve hundred dollars and eleven Twelve eleven dollars and forty six cents. So that's like two fifty dollars gain right here. So that's more than 25 percent 26 percent so let's say you bought more all right so let's say you're going in with like 10 of these and 25 of these and 10 of these so initial was 2500 around there and you're going six hundred dollars 18 cents growth right there so let's go back so as i said you want to look at it in five years 10 years 20 years growth so i'm going to show you for one of them you can do all this yourself test it with however long you want to invest and let's go back i'm going to show you a graph how it's going to be exponential growth so let's look at qld that was a, a more volatile one so right now it was trading at around 71 72 um so as you see if you invested back in with the 10,000 investment and in 2007 right here um right now in 2017 as of november 10th 2017 that would have been sixty thousand four hundred sixty six dollars today guys so, so in 10 years you're growing that almost six times just a little bit more with the dividends reinvested i'm not sure if this pays too much dividends but i don't think so yeah so that's why it's not too much of a difference so look at let's look at it without the dividends reinvested that's those sixty thousand six times growth in just 10 years so if you're growing like twenty five thousand or fifty thousand investment that's going to be a lot more it's going to be hundreds of the thousands and with more money it's going to be millions and big thing with this is you're growing only thousand dollars here so take into account of adding money monthly you want to add more onto this so you want to be buying more monthly when so every time this these dips go on right here you want to add here add here add and then it's going to be growing exponentially so when you go back and look at it like 10 20 30 years you're going to be up hundreds of thousand dollars over here because you're going to be having like a hundred of these a hundred of these a hundred of these and that's a month so when you look at it over time it's gonna be a lot more it's gonna be like hundreds of thousands as I shown you in this chart right here with 10,000 investment that's going to 60,000 in just 10 years so I hope this video was helpful I'm gonna be making more videos like this um, how to invest thousand dollars um, how to swing trade how to day trade how to invest for long term how how to pick out which ones to even invest in in the first place. So these were ones just for my pick. I have a lot more in this list over here. I got ETF long term, long term investments, and just a bunch of those. So what you want to do is pick three to five just per month. You don't need to have like ten of them. Just pick three to five. I picked three right here. Just be safe. And this is conserve decent conservative. This is conservative and this one more volatile so just pick three pick two that, that you really like that you're safe with pick one that's a little risky because you do want your account to grow but you don't want to drop so you want to put in a little risk all right so it's thousand dollar investment um that's looking at long term five years ten years twenty years looking for retirement so
you want to buy more each month and add on as I've showed you if you have just a thousand dollars how much it grew in one year that's more than 25 percent return all right guys I hope this video was helpful I'm going to be making more videos like this go ahead and click the subscribe if you already have it and the notification button and like the video and comment on what you'd like to see in the future all right guys thanks for watching take care bye